One of the things that I just realized that has affected me in a way that's so deep that I never realized, and it's affected all of us in such a disgusting way that we don't even realize what's happened to us. I remember I was once as a young man, kind of as a, if you want to call it, rabbinical student, going to be interviewed on the radio in London. And um, if you want to call it the chief rabbi, before I got interviewed, wanted me to speak to a more senior rabbi just to make sure whatever I would say would be kosher or whatever. And one of the things that this man, a very brilliant man with a PhD and wrote much about Jewish mysticism, told me, he says, you know, the reason the Orthodox Jews stay away from movies and television and shows is because what the show does is subconsciously, it's not blaming anyone, but subconsciously the values. We know according to psychology that when people are with each other, they begin to imitate each other. We, in fact, have mirroring neurons in the brain and the values of the other becomes your values. So in the movie, all they can really sell, they're not selling content or spirituality or values. They're selling looks and ambitions and maybe power. And so suddenly, before you know it, what becomes important to you is something which is unimportant. Certainly, if it gets worse if people are looking at, God forbid, pornography, what's important to them is, you know, it ba that's based on, there was a great rabbi that said that God made an instinct in a man that enjoys a demeaning, that's the worst possible scenario, instead of what it, marriage and intimacy is about, which is, in fact, uplifting and connecting, it, it becomes the lowest of the low. And so, what we have to do is literally see these events because we're all familiar with healthy and unhealthy food, kosher and unkosher food. But there's something much worse than that. And that's healthy and unhealthy ideals. What can be worse than that? You're talking about right now we have people that their ideals is to murder people. Millions upon millions of Muslims are being taught by their imams to go murder. So that's like Nazism. It can be nothing worse than that. You know, you can eat a thousand times pork. It's not as bad as having a bad idea like that. And so the point is that anybody that values themselves, their soul, their children, must stay infinitely far away from all forms of media. Because however you cut it, subconsciously, which is even worse than consciously, you don't even know that it's happening to you, it's changing your very perception of what is good and what is bad. And dedicate your time to the study of Torah, because in the Torah, the seeing videos of the Rebbe and his talks and all uh, good websites, mine, KabbalahWisdom.org, Chabad.org, etc., we gain an infinitely positive perspective.